Okay, so at this stage, where we're at now, is we have replaced our Viper 16 chip, uh, replaced the secondary side rectifier diode, and we've got about 120 volts of battery hooked up to our inverter here at the minute, and our Viper 16 power supply here is quite happily back in operation turning out about 18.4 volts we're monitoring here with our meter and we can give the drive unit a little spin uh, no problem whatsoever uh, with that now so uh, the next mission now is i'm going to shut everything down i'm going to take that little wire off there we're just using it to monitor the 18 volt power supply. Uh, we'll get rid of the Wi Fi module from here and we will put our inverter back on to the drive unit. And uh, theoretically, uh, we should be able to run it that way. Okay, so we've our inverter back on. Uh, we're hooked up with signals and high voltage. Uh, I have done a few spins here, uh, just with the circuit breaker off, just to make sure there was nothing stupid. Um, so we'll give her a little spin here now, uh, with the circuit breaker closed. We all know <laughs> that I'll jump the height of myself if that decides to pop, so um, here goes. There it is, folks. Our Model 3 drive unit spinning with open inverter, fully buttoned up. I believe for the first time, could be wrong. Yep, there goes the circuit breaker. I guess it likes to, re to regen too. You see, once our Maybe it's time I had a bigger circuit breaker. Um, but yeah. Let's reset it. That circuit breaker just always gets me. Every time it lets go like that. So folks, there you have it. Um, first bench test uh, with a, I guess a fully assembled um, Model 3 drive unit uh, running with basically our little mod board in there. So the only thing that we've re replaced on there uh, has been the TIC2000 microcontroller. Um, everything else is running with all of Tesla's hardware and also Tesla's uh, configuration for the power management IC and our gate drivers. I uh, don't know if I mentioned this in, um, in other videos, but um, 
those gate drivers are really go good because if you try to do stupid things w with them they just won't let you do it so very much like the Toyota um, so yeah there you that's it uh, I, I'll keep this video short as I can um, I'm going to take this inverter back off and I've got a check I've got the LIN hardware functioning and at that stage then I'm going to be able to do the conformal coating around the uh, mod board and uh, we can start then thinking about getting this thing installed in the Muskville. So until next time folks then don't forget as always give me a dislike, do not share, do not subscribe, do not support me, Patreon, PayPal, don't do that. Do have a look over on the old open inverter forum though. And uh, I guess then it has to be said until next time. Happy safe circuit breaker popping.